let me completely embarrass Dave right now. Okay. Do you think there's any better comedian in history than Dave Attell? No. No. That's a ridiculous. I swear, okay, I really I'll, take I'll, a I'll, I'll walk out. If, we, if I'll this keeps down. going, I'll walk out. No, 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 I don't want to hear no, no, this no, no, kind no, no, of stuff. Great, I, I greatest, agree with you. Put, I'll put him down tonight. Greatest <laughs> stand up. No, I'm talking stand up comedian. Stand, just stand the up. The art alone. of stand up. Yeah, no, Writing and delivering. Chaplin. Chaplin was a crazy guy. Chaplin had a Hitler mustache and swung it. He has to nix that because, like, I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I would tell you, like, I've had good years, bad years, good decades, bad years, but I feel like this is the best. This is the best time for me with comedy. Even though comedy is so big, and like some of us it are benefiting now. from it more than others, and yeah. like it really is big business, and it's also like I guess you could say it's on the national um, uh, arena of of talking now that like comedy has been elevated, where like uh, jokes are now um, being quoted by the news. And, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. both good and bad to that but it's like I never wanted that I just wanted to be consistently funny in the in the club to theater world and like uh, I've accomplished that and you know I mean like when we talk about like Russ and, and other people it's like it's like it's a long game in comedy and it's like either right. you get it or you don't and like uh, the guys who stop doing comedy are already doing it again there's a lot of people who are getting into it thinking it's a fast track to other things but I just know it it's a long game and that like the hang to me is just as important as uh, as uh, what the Ship aspect of well, it. Well, because that's all I got. You know, it's like if I had a family and stuff like that, then yeah, I'd go home and go, yeah, yeah I got to get up. My kids, you know. <laughs> None of us my, have that. My, my kid has to go to a dentist or something, but, uh, you know. <laughs> but do you think you prefer that or do you prefer this? I don't know. It's just this is the role that I rolled and I'm trying to do the best that as I can. And, yeah. you know, we're pretty lucky that there's still enough of us from the earlier times that, like, yeah. we can hang. And, uh, you know, I apologize if I haven't been so available because <laughs> I knew this was going to come. <laughs> and I really, now, me, I me, think me, that, that one quiet voice was right us because he's gone through like family stuff that like only all of us would dra I mean like I think that Russ is like not only a, a, a good friend but a really no, really good son and, and I, brother uh, and all that kind of stuff because he had to put up he was basically like the, the only force in his family of good yeah. for a long time taking care of his dad and everything like that and I God really respect him nice so now I take care of my mom and like uh, you know I have like round the clock care there I know you were doing most of that on your own so I mean I, I know. Russ is like my brother uh, and uh, so are you Dave I mean you know it's it's uh, but thank uh, God he uh, isn't your brother look how good he looks uh, no. when you feel like <laughs> real Really, really yeah. upset. That, that is aggravating. <laughs> that is aggravating. But uh, no, I. I, I, I it's but just please, a, it's not about comedy. No, I mean, no, 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 It really saying, is not. I, I, I understand. I understand. But it's important. It's awkward to to give a friend a compliment like that because it is awkward. But just know that's what I think of your brother. No, but, that's, I, I, but, but even more so. Can, I, can, but but my point I'm trying to make is. <laughs> uh, and, and and to watch Russ do stand up the way the way you do it, bro, and uh, just the casualness of how you kill and everything—it's like you—it's an art that I think both of you have mastered. But your friendship. It means way more to me than that, you know. Well, like good. it's a I different it. thing. So, it's a different so make sure thing. we don't have to <laughs> fucking go to a funeral. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how about that? <laughs> uh, can, can I ask Dave yeah. a question? And make sure it's at four a.m. at Dave's favorite diner. Yeah. Now, we have a late funeral. <laughs> now, that Mike, would help me out. Now, Mike, <laughs> now this is going to be Dave's worst nightmare. Mike has a question. Go Dave, ahead. who yeah. is your, who? Who do you consider brilliant? Who's your favorite comic? I don't know. I mean, I, I've Doug been asked Stano, that question. That's a, Doug Stanhope. I think is the truest of comics, even though. You know he's a he's 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 a force unto himself. He also, um, you know, when people come up to me and they go, "Have you heard Doug Stanhope?" I go, "Yeah, no, I know Doug Stanhope." That makes me feel really good that other people are hearing about him, finding out about his stuff from, I guess, podcasts. And yeah. you know, he's a writer he, like you. He has some really great stories, Amazing. and he's a great storyteller, <laughs> yeah. a unique guy, like a real eccentric. He's yeah. definitely yeah. a man unto himself, and like you know, I love it. And back in the day when I was drinking and partying and stuff like that, Doug was the guy. He was the guy. It was like him and I were like, uh, you ever see that show, The Wacky Racers? <laughs> oh, I love like, that. It's like we're both. <laughs> Driving crazy cars, oh, going nowhere. That cool <laughs> like that's kind of what it was. But I would say that now, um, you know, I, I love that Doug does his. He found a way to go. Um, you know, he was one of the first guys to go off the grid. Like where it was like, you know what? Oh, I'm not going to get a deal, or I'm not going to be on your network right, or a right. sitcom or any of that bullshit. Well, I don't need it. I'm going to barnstorm my way across the country. And I think he deserves a lot of credit for almost creating a whole different type of market. Absolutely. And uh, in terms of legendary comics, there's so many great ones out there. Like I was thinking about, uh, you know, Red Fox the other day. How I like I would have loved to have seen him. <laughs> I would have loved to have sat in the front row and have him just like make fun of I me. I bought his album when I was 12. He's one of the reasons why I still yeah. do. So I was like, I was so he's the places cult. where like I could sit up front and like a guy would make fun of me and it would yeah, be like him. Yeah, yeah. 
you know. And I'd say Rodney Dangerfield, like I did get to see him live, but I, I love that the fact I saw that, him once. Yeah. I love the fact that it, it took him so long to figure it out, but when he figured it out, there was nothing better. Right. That, that's what I like about him. And Sam Kinison is the one. I, 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 you know, Do you ever meet him, Dave? I never met. Never him. met him. Ken, I never met Kinison either. But I met Bill Hicks, and I'll tell you, he was like a real like a uh, touch by by heaven guy. I like he was good at a lot guy. of things. And he's know? only thirty two when he went away. Yeah, yeah. Wow. he's been dead now over twenty five years. He's only thirty two. Um, 25 wow. years. I remember where I was when he died. Uh, yes, 25 years. I'll give you, I'll give you, okay, I'll, I'll, end, I'll end with a, a, a Norm McDonald, Rodney Dangerfield story. So Rodney Dangerfield is hosting Saturday Night Live when Norm is there. And uh, Pearl Jam is the guest, uh, uh, the, he's hosting, Rodney's hosting and Pearl Jam is the music guest. So it's dress rehearsal and Rodney Dangerfield's in a robe, of course, napping. So <laughs> Pearl Jam, of course, of course, so Eddie Vedder going all out singing Jeremy at dress rehearsal, like all out, like it's a concert. Norm is sitting there, they're all watching him, like entertained by it. Ronnie comes out in a robe and goes, Hey guys, we get it, you're a band. <laughs> <laughs> we get it. Who the hell is Jeremy? I get it. I'm trying to sleep. Can we fucking just come? <laughs> <laughs> so Dude, just the thought of any better, like going, Jeremy. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, we get it, you're a band. I'm going to tell jokes, you're going to sing. Can so we stop? Funny. Okay. So funny. So, so, so he sees Norm, and right after that happens, he goes, You know what, Norm? And this sums it up, what we've been talking about, about the misery. He goes, Norm, you know, television sucks. Television sucks. There's lighting, the bullshit. With the, 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 you're rehearsing. The, the wardrobe wants to talk. Your television sucks. And then he goes, you know what else sucks? Movies suck, Norm. Movies suck. It takes fucking forever. You, the director's got a vision. You got to talk to that guy. Movies suck. He goes, Norm, the only good thing is stand-up, and that fucking sucks. <laughs> <laughs> stand-up at this stage of the game, like, everything yeah. sucks except when, you're, when, when, you're, when they're announcing you and you're walking up. It's great. And then you start to feel The rest is work. Like, I got to do this happiness. bit that takes a while. No, I, no, no, I think that, that that's the fun. I think yeah. being on stage is awesome. It's going to the club. It's walking in. It's I, waiting. I, I'm going to sum up. I'm going to sum it up. Yeah. For you. you're 100 percent right. I'm gonna sum, yeah. Years ago, I was afraid to get on stage. Now I'm afraid to get off. I feel exactly oh. the same way. Now, now I'm afraid uh, to get off. That's because true. I'm right. Like I was just in Baltimore with Gooby, sold out. I'm having fun. I'm in a moment. People are laughing. Yeah. I don't want. I want this to go on forever because yeah. I don't yeah. want to go into the reality. Yes. yes. If you I know. could just wake up on stage. Uh, Perfect. If I could yeah, just really, if I could just fall asleep on stage, which I've done before, I it, guys. Uh, well, I'm gonna do say you have it. something ahead. This is so. I I think this is a great both to you and Mike. Um, thanks for letting me be a part of it. It's so I love fun. being here with Russ and you guys. And uh, I, I'll tell you, man, um, there were so many touch and go moments with you already, but <laughs> yeah, this, I this is, I feel so good about this. And, um, thanks, Dave. you know, I think there's only way to celebrate and I'll be at this Caroline's. Um, I'll be there <laughs> December. <laughs> Sorry. But I yeah. will be at Caroline's. So now, come by. Of course. All of you. We'll get, come by. Uh, guys, in all honesty, thank you. I love you both. Love you. Very nice. Mike, I love you. This is our first, you, how do you feel the first episode went, Mike? I feel phenomenal, because I'm surrounded by you guys I, and I feel happy. Oh, Thank you, Mike. He's without <laughs> words. <laughs> <laughs> this is a rare thing. Okay, this has been Audio Lines Halfway House. This is the show, guys. Yeah. Thanks for listening. Tomorrow, Lenny Dykstra from the oh Mets. Oh, my God. Ooh, wow. The 86 Mets uh, will be here. Now we all feel uh, a little cheated. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> We're going to talk Lenny. to Lenny about what's going on in his life. Uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks, okay, guys. See Peace. Ya.